Hey planner friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be planning from the 16th to the 22nd of November in my annual passion planner and yes, I'm wearing a blanket. Let's get started. So the kit I'm using this week is Crystal from Strawberry Lime Designs and this is her older mini kit format because I've hoarded this kit for a couple months now but the dark colours are totally my sort of November vibes and you may have noticed that any sort of witchy themed kit is totally my jam. As always I've started off by shading in the times that I'll be asleep with just some regular pencil and then going in with my Stabilo fine liner to mark in alarm times, split the weekly focus box and also split the personal and work to do's so I've got more space for my to-do lists. And then I'm also creating my little five day habit tracker for things that I do at work every single day. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, we are back in lockdown in England this November, so I don't have a lot going on. That's why these videos are gonna be kind of short this month. But I'm just going in with my passion marker to color in the daily focus boxes of days where I wasn't at work. So I had annual leave on Monday this week, and then obviously Saturday and Sunday off. Does anyone else find that when they have a four day work week, it actually feels even longer than a five day work week would? Because that's exactly how I felt this week. Like the Monday that I had off at the beginning of this week feels so long ago now, and I don't know why. So now I've filled in the daily focus boxes, I'm also gonna use the same passion marker to color in the check boxes of my personal and work to-do list. And also on the work habit tracker, I color in the days that I am at work just to make it opposite to how I use the focus boxes. And then the final part of my pen base is that I'm going to mark in my work hours with the fine liner side of my passion marker. Now, I love having a fine liner that's the same color as my highlighter, but because this color is quite light, I am going over all of the lines twice so that they stand out a little bit more. As you can see from the focus box on Monday, when you go over with this pen again, it really builds up the color. So it's just a little trick to make the fine liner stand out better. Now that the pen base is down, I can start cutting up some stickers. So I'm gonna split the two strips of washi in half using my craft knife. Sometimes I measure these, but for the strips on Strawberry Land Designs kits, you can just split them in half and they will fit over the headers really nicely. The only thing with these kits that I forget almost every single time is that the second strip of washi has like a chunk at the end that's supposed to be for like an EC style sidebar, but I always use it as like one whole strip. So I've started by putting down my meal plan sticker and as always that's just something that I made in Excel and print out on sticker paper myself and then I'm adding my daily check-in habit tracker to the sidebar with this cute crystal ball four box on top and then I'm going to start laying down my washi strips so these cover the space of infinite possibility header, the personal and work to-do list headers and then also create an extra gratitude header in the bottom left hand corner. I actually used to write like personal and work like headers on these strips when I first started covering up all of the headers, but it's got to the point now where I know exactly what is in each spot of my planner because I plan the same way every week, so I don't bother with headers. So this last strip is where I remember that there's that chunk at the end of the second washi strip. So I'm just gonna continue using it as one whole washi strip and then just make sure that that little bit at the end is really nice and in line with the rest of the strip. It's a little bit fiddly, but it looks fine in the end. And actually watching this video back while I'm doing this voiceover is when I've actually remembered that there's a break in that washi because I've been looking at it all week and haven't noticed. So now that I've finished struggling to trim this last bit of washi, I'm just gonna add the weekend banner and then that is the base of my spread down. And I really love these weekend script banners that Strawberry Lime Designs does, they're really cute. So the first thing I marked down was a meeting that I had on Wednesday morning, but then I remembered that as part of my base, I've actually tried to start doing my breakfast, lunch and dinners. So once I put these two meetings down, I go back in and add in all of those. As usual, I'm using my Pilot Friction Pen to write in all of my meals. And these aren't like exact meal times. I mean, the lunch one is because I pretty much get to one o'clock and stop working for half an hour. But the dinners, it can vary a bit. Like they're kind of more ideas of when to eat. And also I like having the pop of color from highlighting over them with my like theme color for the month. I just realized that in my video last week, I said that I thought my planner was pretty accurate, but now I'm like, no, the meal times are complete lies. <laughs> 
I'm not sure why I decided to put my breakfast, lunch and dinners in earlier. I think because they they feel like part of the pen base. So that's what I've done last week and also what I've done for next week. It just kind of makes sense, whereas I used to add them in as like afterthoughts, putting them in around my plans rather than putting my plans in around when I'm going to eat. Because obviously when you eat is like the most important part of the day, apart from when you go to sleep. And now I've made myself hungry by talking about meals too much. Oh well, I'm going to have a snack after this voiceover. So now we can get properly into the daily planning and because of lockdown there's not a lot going on so the first thing I'm going to mark is working from home on Wednesday and that's just with this event label that I trimmed slightly so that it would fit in the focus box and then really struggled to lay down straight because of who I am as a person. Next up I'm going to add in a bill and because this is an older mini kit format from Strawberry Land Designs I'm bringing in this old Bill Dew sticker which I think is from a planner face monthly that's why it's so much longer than the timelines are. I'm just going to cut a chunk out of that and then kind of stick it back together. Then another bit from an old planner face monthly and this is a payday flag and then I cut up the Monday to Sunday box as I've done quite a lot of times so that I have a nice thin bit of washi to use and then I'm going to use an Ickle & Co icon to mark that that is when this YouTube video is going up. Next I'm going to pop in my planning time like there was literally nothing going on this week guys and then I'm going to add in my I'd say gym routine but it's a home gym routine. I just have like a small set of weights in my lounge. It's really sad and it makes me really struggle with motivation like I got to this point in like end of June beginning of July where I was just over working out at home um, and now going back to it I just feel so unmotivated because it's not the style of training that I want to be doing it's just kind of frustrating Anyway, enough of the gym ranting. I've just added in a recycling sticker from Planner Face. It took me a little while to decide where I wanted to put it. And then I'm adding in a checklist on Monday morning for some cleaning. And then on Monday afternoon, I'm adding in a full box to take up a chunk of time because as I did last week, I just pretty much spent the whole weekend playing the new Sims pack because what else is there to do in lockdown? When I add a full box into the timelines, I normally measure how much space I have between like my lunch and dinner before I actually cut it and pop it in just so that I don't have to do too much cutting on the planner. So I've just added in a half box on Saturday for whatever we get up to, which ended up just being like watching YouTube and playing video games because again, what else is there to do in lockdown? Also that Sim sticker is a printable from Pinky Stickers and I usually print out like a couple in the right sort of color theme for the month. And then I'm just adding in a quarter box for recording this voiceover and yet again, struggling to put it down straight. Are you noticing a theme here? Cause I am. My only issue with the like older format of Strawberry Land Designs mini kits is that there's no deco and no icons so I end up having to pull in quite a lot of stuff from my stash. Now I'm not adding it in yet but I end up adding in like icons and doodles and stuff that, from other shops but then also I got really fed up of not having deco by the end of the week and there was a couple full boxes that just had like crystals all over them so I actually took my craft knife and cut out individual crystals to use as deco and it turned out really cute. I'm really glad I bothered doing it but it was I was just being extra so while I've been ranting, I've added in a quarter box for my budgeting on Saturday morning and then also a three heart checklist for doing some Christmas planning on Sunday morning. And I've added in some icons for cleaning and laundry and all that fun stuff. And then I'm just adding in an event label for Friday. I actually ended up moving this to Sunday, but we're watching through the first season of His Dark Materials. So I popped in a label to plan out time for that. So now I'm just going to start filling in all of my plans as usual with my Pilot Friction pen because I make too many mistakes to not use an erasable pen. So as I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm feeling really unmotivated and I think it's just because of lockdown and feeling a little bit stuck in a rut of not being able to go anywhere basically. And then also my four day work week was incredibly stressful for no reason because I just had work that had piled up and piled up and it was like a marathon trying to get through it all as there was extra stuff coming in at the same time. And yeah, it's just been a lot. So. <laughs> I'm glad that I had quite a short video to voice over this week because I don't know if you realize this, but my voiceovers take me like two hours, especially when I'm having a bad chronic fatigue day and literally can't think of anything to say and can't form sentences because I feel so exhausted. It's super fun. Um, today's not one of those days. We've been going for an hour at this point and I've essentially talked for nine minutes, <laughs> but I do edit as I go as well. So it's not like I've just failed at talking for like 51 minutes. Out of all of the parts of making these videos, when I started back at the end of August, I didn't think that voiceovers would be the most difficult part for me. 
So that's all my plans filled in for this week, even though I got the wrong letter in P for plan with me. Um, so I'm just going to fill in my daily check-in habit tracker and then start filling in my to-do list. So as always, I have personal on the left and work on the right. And then I have important stuff in the top section and then like chores and things I do quite a lot in the second section. And then my gratitude section is taking the prompts from Ellie Beth Designs UK. Now it's Black Friday next weekend and I know there are a lot of people having financial troubles at the moment due to the pandemic but if you do want to shop the Passion Planner Black Friday sale is currently ongoing and there's up to 75% off some items and um, there's new sticker books and a new like monthly desk pad which looks really cool and if you shop through the link in the description down below then you will help support my channel so thank you if you do. In the same vein of plugging Black Friday sales, Planner Faces Black Friday style starts on Thursday at 6pm GMT and there is 25% off everything with tiered freebies, limited edition kits, custom art mystery kits, grab by deals, all that good stuff. So don't forget to check that out. I'm pretty sure you won't be able to stack my code but if you can it's on screen now and mention me in the notes to seller for a freebie. For my weekly focuses this week, for my personal focus, I just wrote lockdown because as I said last week, in the first lockdown, I was counting the weeks that we'd been in lockdown. Um, how many times have I said lockdown in this sentence? I was counting the weeks that we'd been stuck inside just to keep a record of it in my planner. So I'm doing the same again because there's a chance that Bristol will be in tier three or whatever the tier system ends up being uh, when we come out of this national lockdown. And then for my work focus, I put to get back on track because I had so much catching up to do after daring to have some annual leave for Halloween and to play The Sims. I'm such a grown up. But anyway, that's all of the pre-planning done for this week. Let's take a look at the finished spread. As usual, it filled up loads this week and you can see on Saturday where I cut up some of the crystal full boxes to make some deco. I really like how this spread turned out. I really like for November for all of my spreads to look like kind of dark and nighttimey. I even had to use a full box in my reflection section just to bulk it up a bit because I didn't take that many photos this week. So that's everything for this week, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!